everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Paul Yester here and this is my second YouTube channel called Pauly Pops where I make videos about my hobby of collecting Funko Pops and today we got another box from Mystery Grail. Mystery Grail, are you ready to see how hard you failed with your box from Mystery Grail? Will your box be a dream or a dud? Brought to you by Milton Bradley. Milton Bradley makes the best board games in the world. Anyway, that's a throwback for old people. We got another one of these Mystery Grail boxes. We're going to open it. I don't know how much longer we're going to do this. I do have one more order. Uh, probably what comes in here is going to determine if I order ever again. I feel like I did really well last time, and I think I can only go down from here. Who knows? You know the drill if you've seen any of these videos before. Let's see. So, Mystery Grail... It, they sell these boxes every week. They sell out within minutes. You, you have to be very quick to get these. They sell between 15 and 2, 1,500 and 2,000 boxes every week. Usually it's 1,750. They sell out in mere minutes. Just poof, they're gone. Even though the odds explicitly state that there is a 97% chance that what you get in here is going to be worth under $40. Uh, there was somebody collecting plastic, made a video, and they watched 600 of these boxes opened, and about 82% of them were $12 and under. They cost $15 a piece, plus shipping. My shipping to Canada for three boxes is $26. So three boxes at 15 each is 45, plus the $26 shipping. I have $71 into this. So I'm close to uh, $24 per box. Not quite, a little bit less than that, but let's just call it $24 per box. So the odds are really against me that I'm gonna get anything in here, but it is fun and makes good content for all of you. And you can use it as a cautionary tale, like no, I ain't never buying those mystery grail boxes because Paulie never gets nothing. All he does is lose money every week. So I'm not gonna do it. Who knows, maybe this is gonna be a time. My mom says you gotta use the secret and visualize things and then you you magnetically draw stuff to yourself so if i just imagine that i'm going to get a grail in here then that's going to happen but if i say i'm not going to get anything then of course i'm not going to get anything it's a self-fulfilling prophecy that's how the secret works hi mom all right uh so there's the odds let's see sold out these are okay this is the the they always put previous weeks what they sold this was last week's video this is what we have the chance to get these uh, were the boxes that were sold on may the 9th that's the one i'm opening here let's take a closer look at what is possible here so along the top row we have the 8-bit teenage mutant ninja turtles and they're all autographed those are pretty cool i don't remember those those are Funko Shop exclusives. It looks like Shrek. I'd love to get that one. Um, Doctor Facilier from the Princess Frog. I'd love to get that one. Elmo. Obviously, Polly would love to get Elmo because he really likes Elmo. Yeah, I need that one for my Sesame Street collection for sure. Randall Boggs from Monsters Inc. That would be cool. Um, Santa Claus from the Rudolph. 1960s claymation movie. I would love to get that one. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. That would be amazing. Don't know who that is in um, the last spot in the top row. Moving to the second row, we got Oogie Boogie um, from Nightmare Before Christmas. Daryl from Walking Dead. Bruce Lee, I would really like to get that one. King Arthur from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That would be great. The Wolfman from Universal Monsters. I don't have any of the Universal Monsters. Those are all long vaulted by the time I started collecting. I would love to get Wolfman. Um, I don't collect Marvel or Star Wars, so let's see here. Frosted Flakes, Tony the Tiger. Interestingly, I have this one. This was uh, purchased by a friend of mine at the, the Funko store in Hollywood. They have two brick and mortar locations for the Funko store. One is in Oregon, I believe. And the other, or is it Washington? Might be Washington, I forget. You know in the chat. Everett, Washington, right? Washington. The other one is in Hollywood, California. This uh, Tony the Tiger was exclusive to Hollywood, California location. He has the sunglasses on because he's a big movie star. They're great. And then the Iron Giant, I would love to get that one. Um, 
that original SpongeBob? Wow, that would be a great pull. Wisp, that one's actually at my mom's house. <laughs> That's like a grail now. I haven't, because of the pandemic, I haven't been able to go visit my mom and I have ordered a lot of Funko Pops and got them sent to her house because Funko Store doesn't mail to Canada. So she has like boxes and boxes of Funko Pops waiting for me to bring them back to Canada one day. One of them is that Quisp, which is a pretty expensive figure now. See, Mom, we're making money with those boxes that are just sitting around your house. They're making money. <laughs> All right, then we have, uh, this is a Pop Asia. I would like to get some of those Pop Asia figures. They're really cool. Those are lines of myths and legends that are exclusive to Asia. The Slit Mouth Woman, uh, Kochisuke, that would be an amazing one. I would love to get that one one day, but I wouldn't mind to get a Pop Asia figure in my collection. This is the Hades Chase from the Hercules movie that finishes the second row here. We got the Bumble, the Abominable Snowman from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer in the th at the third row. That'd be cool. Um, what else? Oh, man, this Venomized Ma Magneto. I don't collect Marvel, but I saw a bunch of these in the store, and that's like a $100 figure now. I wish I wouldn't have passed that up. I could have bought those and used those as trade fodder because that's very expensive. Uh, Madame Leota from the Haunted Mansion. The Rick and Morty, uh, what's the name of this this lamb? I can't remember, but I need that one. That was a convention exclusive. That one's pretty expensive. This Dwight Schrute with the blonde hair where uh, Pam and Jim convince Dwight to go undercover and find out about the downsizing and he needs a disguise so they get him to bleach his hair blonde. I need that figure. That's a cool one. Target exclusive. Nemesis Prime. I don't remember that one being sold in the Funko shop. That's a Transformer I need. Uh, I don't know which Conan O'Brien that one is, but mm, not so interested. This is um, Leatherface in the tuxedo with the makeup on. Pretty Lady Leatherface. I have that one. That's a, a good figure, though. What else? At the end of the last row. Oh, we got uh, Kenny from South Park. That's the first run South Park figure, I believe. End of the first row, Mr. Freeze convention exclusive. I was lucky enough to pick that one up at an EB game, so I don't need that. Uh, Vince McMahon chase on the fourth row there. That's a pretty cool one. There's some kind of a special Elsa from Frozen. I don't know what that is. This is a Professor Quirrell from Harry Potter. A Blacklight Spider-Man. A Plague Doctor from Assassin's Creed. Carnage, that's an FYE exclusive. Venomized Ghost Rider, Doug from Up. What else? B for Vendetta. I need that one. I'd love to get that one. This is the chase from the uh, Universal Monsters for the Invisible Man. I have the regular one. I'd love to get the chase. It's got the clear body on it, and that'd be cool. And Bizarro. That's a neat figure. Hot Topic exclusive. I'd like to get that one. Now we go down into the premiums. The Bone Daddy. This is the... Fantastic plastic line. I'd love to get that. I like the the original intellectual properties of Funko that they put out for the fantastic plastic. Those are all cool. Original Cheshire Cat. This is another Universal Monsters metallic creature from the Black Lagoon. Gemini exclusive. That's got to be a great one. I mean, it is in the premium line here. 8-bit Freddy Funko, their mascot. The Riddler. Don't know what that is. Is that just the original figure for the Riddler from DC Universe? Number five, it's gotta be pretty old and vaulted. And then we have the Mega Grails here. So this is the first mayor. They've since made another mayor, so it's probably hurting the value of the original mayor, which is probably why they're giving it away as one of the mystery grails. And then this is Freddy Funko, their mascot, dressed up like one of the Ghostbusters. Those are what they call the Mega Grails. Okay, so enough jibba jabba. Let's get cracking here and see what Let's see how we badly miss all of those figures and don't get any of that. So like I said last week, at least I knew what the stuff was and they were things that were even in my realm of collecting. I don't think I'm ever gonna do that well again, but never say never. But I feel like that week there was stuff that they all fit within my collection, even though I had a double of one. I was like, I recognize the figures it wasn't like what is this from some anime thing that i didn't know or from some series that i didn't collect at all so there. the candy is really shaking around here okay so we're gonna put it this time we're gonna make a great happy excited exuberant face for the thumbnail because it'd be like 
this, this is it. We're going to get it this time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mystery Grail number one. Remember, they always put a post-it note star on the figure in the box to make sure that you know that you got something really great in your box. So if we see a star, we know we got a hit. No star, it's gonna be under $40 for sure. Part of that 97 percentile range. So here we go, box number one. It's gonna be oh, oh, oh. Bob Ross. Bob Ross with raccoon. Interestingly, I think I need this pop. I have the chase. The chase has Hootie the owl. Uh, I don't have the regular, so I'm not upset about that one, but that is not gonna be a highly prized figure at all. And we got for our candy this week, I thought there was extra candy. A lot of little pieces of candy instead of like one sugar daddy. We got a lot of little pieces of candy here. So we got a packet of Razzles, which my wife actually likes Razzles, so I'll probably give those to her. And then what is this candy here? Sorry, let me get my glasses. I can't see what it is. What are these? Fruities! We got three little fruities and a packet of razzles. There we go. All right. Bob Ross, I'm going to set you to the side here. And we'll look up your book value later, but it's not going to be much. All right, number two. But I'm not upset because I need it. Um, I, one day I walked into Walmart and they had a bunch of the chases of the Bob Ross with Hootie the Owl. And I bought the chases and I never bought the regular one. So I'm actually happy to have the regular now. All right, number two. Got to do it this way. Let's see. Here's what we got. Number two. Jamie Lannister. All right, there's another one of those scratch cards. <laughs> All of the... Um, I'm not terribly upset about this. I wouldn't mind to pick up the um, same candies, Razzles and the three fruity, fruities again. I wouldn't mind to pick up Game of Thrones pops here and there, but the value on all the Game of Thrones pops is plummeting because ever since the series ended and a lot of people did not like the way that the series ended, they've been just dumping all of their Game of Thrones figures. Don't want anything to do with it anymore. They're so upset about the ending of that series and the values are just plummeting on these. They're just dropping like a rock. But, uh, you know, I'm not too upset about it. Like, I'm just going to put it with... I have, like, two or three Game of Thrones figures. I didn't start collecting the Game of Thrones figures because when I started collecting um, Funko Pops, there were so many. It was just overwhelming how many Game of Thrones Pops were out there that I just said, nah, I'm going to pass. But now that uh, everybody's dumping, that's the time for me to buy, I guess, right? So I'm not too upset about that. But that, again, that isn't going to be a high book value figure. Here we go, last one, still sealed. This is our last chance for a star. Can we ever get one of these stars? Will we ever get one of these stars on this channel? I have one more box on order for next week. Am I gonna order the some more on Sunday? I don't know, remains to be seen. Here we go, last one. Look, they, they pre-poked the hole for me. That's good, right? That means there's a star in here, huh? Here we go, what do we get? Pennywise, Hot Topic exclusive. Do I have this one? Let me get my candy out here. Fruities. Three Fruities, nine Razzles. $71. Okay. Here we go. Pennywise. Oh, it's metallic. I need this one. I actually need this one. Hot Topic exclusive metallic Pennywise. Wow, I'm excited about that. So, I did get three figures that I have use for. I'm going to keep them all. I need them all. So, that's a win. That's a win for me. Huh. I wonder if there's any value to this. I mean, it, it's not a grail because it would have a star on it. But it might not be a super dog. So, what do I think is the super dog? Probably Bob Ross. I don't know. Okay, we're going to look up all three and see where we're at. What? 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 You're never gonna believe this. We came out ahead. You heard me. We came out ahead. I don't believe it, but we did. Okay, so first is the Bob Ross. As predicted, this one has the lowest value. I'm gonna show you that here. So, um, 
Bob Ross with Raccoon is the one we have. That's $10. This is the one I mentioned before. Bob Ross with Hoot the Owl, the Chase. That's the one I have a few of. Never bought the regular. I only bought the Chase. There's actually like six different Bob Rosses. I don't have this one with the paintbrush. I don't have this one with Peapod. And um, the one with the regular palette. I think I have that one. But there's also one. Oh, here. Yeah, where he has flocked hair. His hair is all fuzzy. I don't have the flocked one either, but there's like six different Bob Ross figures. Anyway, for Bob Ross, we got $10. Next, we're gonna go to the Jamie Lannister. Surprisingly, this one has a book value of $35. Now you can see here, they do these charts. They, they um, this website uses sales and they figure out like what the value is by the going rates so you can see here like down at november 2020 um the this was bottoming out at 12 dollars, which shows you what i was talking about how everybody's like i hate game of thrones now i'm dumping all my pop so up here it was worth like june 2020 it was 35 dollars August 2020, it was $35, and then the series is over. Everybody's mad. It just plummets down to 12 bucks. But then it bounced back. And now here we see like $36 in April is the highest that it's ever been. And right now it's sitting at around uh, 35 bucks. So who knew? So this is the the um the gold and Jamie Lannister figure where, you know, I don't mean no spoilers if you've never seen this series, but he's got a gold hand. So that's pretty good. All right, finally, we're going to move on to Metallic Pennywise. This is the one I'm most excited about. I never did get this when it came out at Hot Topic. And uh, let's check out the value on that one. Pennywise Hot Topic Metallic is 33 bucks. So again, we see the chart here, like this was for some reason in March, this was coming in at $65. A lot of a lot of sales here that were very high prices. And then it gave back some, $47 in May, $39 here May 20th. So on average, it's uh, $33. So that's not a bad figure. So 33, 35, and 10, we made money. We made money. Can you believe it? We're at $78. $78 worth of value for our $71 a total cost. I don't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm amazed. And I'm going to keep all three figures. Not only did I get a win on the value, they're all three figures that I'm going to keep. The secret works. Thanks, Mom. All right, let's scratch our tickets. So nothing remarkable on the scratch cards. They're all the very minimum 200 tokens per card, but I don't even care about those. I'm just gonna put those 600 tokens into my account and uh, we'll add it into what we get next week. I do have one more order that's already in transit from Mystery Grail. I could show you what that is here. Um, let's see. So this is what was sold on May 16th. That'll reach me sometime next week here. A lot of good figures in this too that I would love to pull. Um, original Shredder, Better Call Saul, Johnny McGill, the Marty McFly from the Toronto Comic Con. I really want to get that figure one day. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, Garfield, I have already. There's a Run DMC autograph figure. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, the Space Ghost. I would love to get the Space Ghost villain. Boo Boo from Yogi the Bear. I need that one. Mr. Freeze. That was a um, monthly DC box exclusive. Would love to get that. There's a Muttley that's flocked. And then when you get down into here, the big grails, the premium Bam Bam. That's an amazing figure. I'd love to get Bam Bam. And then the Megas are the Rocky Balboa and this Tony Stark. So that's what's coming um, next week. And then what is going to go on sale this coming Sunday May 23rd. Am I going to get three more? I mean, given what I got here, it is encouraging, but I think this is probably the best I ever did. We have Gus Fring, Bruce Lee. Um, that's the um, the Joker all the way on the left here is the breast cancer awareness figure. 
That's a really cool one. There's another Monty Python in the Holy Grail. Um, Freddy Funko mascot. Shrek is in here again. What else? Wesley from the Princess Bride chase with the mask. Oh man, Freddy Funko the mascot here. Dressed up as Chucky from Child's Play. Um, Captain Cutler from Scooby-Doo. These are the big ones right here. What I would love to get would be um, the Animal Flocked 4,000 Pieces Funko Shop exclusive. The Creeper Convention. That's a really difficult figure to get. I'm actually more interested in these premium grails. The Marty McFly 2 Autograph Doc Brown from Back to the Future. I'm actually more interested in these premium grails than the two mega grails all the way on the right. Because I really I love the Muppets. I don't have hardly any of them. And I love Scooby-Doo, too. So I'd love to get the Scooby-Doo villain and animal. But who knows, right? A very low percent chance to get anything like that. But we had fun. Um, you know, it's always fun when you don't lose. I'm, I don't know if I'll ever do better than this on Mystery Grail. Getting three figures that I want, that I'm going to keep, and that have value to the point where I didn't lose money. So that's a win. That's a win, right? So uh, we did even better than last week. Ooh, what's going to happen next week? Who knows? As always, thank you so very much for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.